Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here, and in today's video we will be looking at how old school lifters trained for the strict curl, and in particular we will be focusing on the methods used by Doug Hepburn to build his arms past the 21 inch arm naturally by building a strict curl of above and beyond 200 pounds, as by 1951 Doug was able to strict curl 220 pounds, and he was actually looking to break the strict curl record of 222 pounds that was set by Herman Goerner. He eventually did in 1959 when he strict curled 260 pounds at an AAU event. Doug was in the opinion that the slow two hand strict curl was the best indicator of power in the arms as was the deadlift which determined back strength and the squat that determined the strength of the hips and thighs. To quote Doug Hepburn, Quote, personal experience has convinced me that to attain maximum power in the biceps of the arms, the hands slow curl with barbell is the most effective and efficient exercise, end quote. Having said that, Doug noticed that the strongmen of the past with the most outstanding ability to curl, such as John Davis, Arthur Saxon, Maurice Jones, Louis Sir, Apollon, Al Berger and Hermann Goerner, who could all curl over 200 pounds, also possessed immensely strong backs and thighs, proving once again that the true foundations of strength lie in these four mentioned regions. Doug Heppen believed that if one was training for the strict curl and to break the strict curl record, then cheating would only negate from your practice of the strict curl and perhaps disadvantage the practitioner in developing bad habits especially because one is bound by a set of rules during competition. Nevertheless, he understood that cheating as a method for the final sets of a workout and as an assistance exercise was still useful to the trainee, looking at maximizing the size of their arms and the strength of their biceps. The routine that Doug used to break the 200 pound strict curl mark once again involved a high weight, low repetition principle performing the curl in the strictest way possible, and was as follows. He first performed warm up curls with a poundage of 30 to 40 pounds below his work set poundage. As an example, if his work set poundage was 190 pounds, he would select a poundage of 150 to 160 pounds and perform five repetitions as a warm up. Following the warm up set, he performed several sets with his work set poundage of 190 pounds, curling out five repetitions, keeping the reps strict. He even would have a training partner with the rule book in hand to make sure that he was performing the strict curl by following all the rules. Following the first set, he would perform another five reps using strict curl style for the first three to four repetitions, and then with a little relaxation or cheating in the last rep or two. He would repeat this method for five to six sets and would try and perform two to three reps as strict as possible even in the last set, and then cheat the rest of the reps. After performing his work sets and a short break, Doug would proceed with what he called a pump set, curling the poundage he used in the warm up set for one set of 10 repetitions. That would conclude Doug's routine. Doug was not into the use of many assistance exercises when it came to training for the strict curl, except for two exercises. Doug would on occasion turn to the use of dumbbells and would perform strict dumbbell curls. Doug would also load up a heavy barbell to 700 to 750 pounds and using a supinated curling grip, deadlift the bar to the thighs and let it hang from arm's length and would try to perform the beginning motion of the curl to strengthen the tendons and ligaments in his arms, thereby making lighter poundages feel less heavy. A typical strict curl routine from Doug Hepburn would look like this. As a warm up set, for example, he would use 160 pounds for one set of five repetitions, then moving up to his work set of 190 pounds for five to six sets of five repetitions, and then that pump face set 160 pounds of one set of 10 repetitions. As a final comment on Doug's strict curl program, it is obvious that because he would practice the strict curl with as strict a form as possible and only cheat when absolutely necessary, added to the fact that he would hold 700 plus pound 
weights to train his joint strength. It is clear to see that Doug was always trying to work on the most difficult part of the curl, which was the beginning or the start of the curl, that is, getting the bar away from the thighs. As he put it, quote, during this part of the curl and before the main muscle group, that is the biceps, is brought into play, the main effort is brought to bear on the tendons and ligaments of the wrists and the elbow joint. In the cheating curl, it is this starting point that is essentially eliminated, end quote. Therefore, Doug would focus much of his workout on this starting, powerful and forceful contraction to allow him to break the strict curl record. So that was Doug's method for training the strict curl, and using such methods he was able to increase his strict curl to 260 pounds. As mentioned before, the methods presented today, which he would later evolve, were still part of his development, and in my opinion would serve a power lifter or bodybuilder who was trying to push his boundaries. Doug of course later developed further methods and systems to develop the squat, the deadlift, the bench press, the overhead press and of course the curl. If you have enjoyed watching this video and this series, please give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't done so and leave me your comments and please click the bell button to be notified of future videos. What do you think of Doug Hepburn's powerlifting methods? Are they too extreme or have you used them before? Many have with great results and I personally feel that they are great for breaking plateaus. However, they are advanced so as always if you decide to try them, proceed with caution. Anyway, that's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. The complete collection of Doug Hepburn's courses is now available on www.goldenerabookum.com and is recommended for those looking to increase their numbers in the major lifts. Doug Hepburn was regarded as one of the strongest men of all time, possessing superhuman strength. The collection of books includes titles such as The Deadlift, The Deep Knee Bend or Squat, How I Bench Pressed 500 Pounds, The Olympic Press, The Two Hands Curl, the Doug Hepburn Super Strength course, as well as his course for strength and bulk. All courses are now available at www.goldenerabookum.com. Online training is now available, including my new program, Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique, as well as Classic Cut, geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabookum.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platz and Larry Scott and much much more and select your poster now. Your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases and much much more. Once again at teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. To take full advantage of my collaborations, use code GEB20 with nspnutrition.com and vincegeronda.com as well as code bookworm12 at osl.com for a discount at checkout.